my mother. Here it is, folks, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Santa Claus float. I don't see Santa yet, but here's one of his elves. <laughs> That's a mighty cute elf. But where's the big guy himself? Oh, here's another elf. No, that's the same elf. <laughs>
You have plans? Well, there you are, gorgeous. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wally, now you're going out with Mona? Yes, isn't life strange? <laughs> you know, I, I didn't realize you two even knew each other. You know that Tony introduced us? What? What? I, I said Mona, this is Wally. Wally, this is Mona. I, you called that an introduction? Could I have a word with you, sir? Sure, what's on your mind? Inside. Wally, what is going on? What, you said I should date lots of other women? I didn't meet in the same house. <laughs> Be prying too much to ask you why you stole my date. I didn't steal him, dear. I thought you didn't want him anymore. Really? Who would ever give you that idea? You did. You said that it was the worst night of your life. I thought I was doing you a favor. Oh, thank you, Mother. But I've decided to go out with Wally again. Oh, well, that's nice, dear. Don't wait up. Wait. <laughs> You're still going out with him? You bet. And it won't be the worst night of my life. <laughs> Come on, Wally. Let's blow this pop stand. Well, good night, Tony. Good night, Angela. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> my mother poor Wally poor vulnerable Wally shattered by a divorce on the rebound from me he falls right into her clutches that's one way of looking at it is that grandma leaving with Wally yes sport you're right Sam Wally dumped mom for grandma mother did you come over here to show off your sweater or was there something you wanted I borrowed Wally's jacket last night, uh, late last night, and uh, I just thought I'd bring it over and thank him. I can thank him. I don't think you can really thank him the way I can thank him. Girl, girls, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> I'm going to... Good. How about if I thank him and he gets it in one piece? Now, what is going on here? Well, my mother has clearly set her cap for Wally, and I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed because it's obvious that he is quite interested in me. After last night, I doubt that he even remembers her. <laughs> and after tonight, I doubt he'll ever forget. Hey, uh, you want me to get that? You two want to duke it out. <laughs> hey, Wally. Hi, Tony. How are you? Hi, Angela. Hello, Wally. What a pretty dress. Well, thank you. Hi, Wally. What a great sweater. <laughs> All right, look, you two have a good time. Go ahead. Did you see that sweater? Uh... <laughs> Wally, it's just you and me tonight. Let's party. Well, before you go, wouldn't anyone like a drink? I would. Well, it is Saturday. I mean, let the good times roll. <laughs> Well, then, Mother, why don't you make a round of your specialty? Old fashions. Oh, Angela, you make them. You're the expert at ice and bitters. Why don't you both go? You're getting fur on the rug here. <laughs> Tony, are those two gorgeous women really fighting over me, or is this some kind of a cruel, practical joke? It's hard to believe, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's really hard to believe. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe beneath this civilized exterior beats the heart of a savage. <laughs> it's really hard to believe. Come on, eight. Mona needs a new pair of uh, anything from Tiffany's. <laughs> hey, the front line. <laughs> God, you're beautiful when you're winning. I am, aren't I? <laughs> Here, blow on these. No, I mean the dice. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, seven. Seven of front line. Oh, boy, you are.
are good luck for me. Uh, one question. Uh, are you married? No. Oh. Are you from the planet Zoltar? <laughs> Close. Um, from Phoenix. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, I feel Mona, Mona. How you doing? Here's a chip. Beat it. <laughs> <laughs> How's Smiley treating you? Like a million bucks. Oh, all right, well, good. Listen, Angela just went for some salt water taffy. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna do my studying over here, so if you need me, I'm gonna... Roll him. You're 11. Good oh, Okay, well, you, you don't need me. <laughs> okay, let it all ride. The kit and the caboodle, huh? I love your caboodle, kid. <laughs> okay, come on, baby. Seven the front line oh, man. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Friends and relatives, we're gathered together to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Usually, I ask this question later in the ceremony, but all things considered, I'd like to clear it up now. Is there anyone present who objects to this union? Speak now or forever hold your peace. I object. Me too. Mona, I thought we had a date Friday night. Wait a minute. She's going out with me Friday night. Mother, mother, this is embarrassing. No, it's not, dear. <laughs> Boys, settle down, settle down. Hey, settle down. Guys, thanks for the memories. It was great while it lasted. And some of you lasted longer than others. <laughs> but from now on, I am a one-man woman. Now all things have come to pass. <laughs> Just think, they're lighting candles in singles bars all over New England. <laughs> oh, you big lug. I'm yours forever. <laughs> so, that's my dream. It's, it's so clear in my mind, I can almost hear the tin cans rattling behind my roll. <laughs> oh, Max, you paint such a romantic picture. <laughs> yeah, Mona getting married. Makes me want to throw wild rice. <laughs> <laughs> so am I to assume then I have your permission to marry Mona? Oh, Max, take my mother, please. <laughs> oh, you have made me so happy. Welcome to the family. Hey, oh. Mona kissed a lot of frogs to get to this prince. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, guys, now listen. I want your advice on how to pop the question. I want to make this a very special moment for Mona. Oh, I know exactly yeah. what to Come do. On. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You take her to a little French restaurant for a candlelight dinner. And when she's not looking, you slip the ring into her champagne glass. Oh, but, but make sure she doesn't chug a lug. <laughs> you know, Angela, I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised. I, I thought you might go for something, you know, a bit more romantic. Like, uh, picture this. You're at Yankee Stadium. Yankee Stadium? <laughs> on hat day. In one hand, you got a hot dog, mustard and relish. In the other hand, you got a cold beer, okay? In your lap is a box of Cracker Jacks. Now, during the seventh inning stretch, you go for the Cracker Jacks, you open the box, and you pull out the prize. And let me tell you, it ain't no plastic whistle, it's a diamond ring. Oh. Suddenly, <laughs> the organ player plays, da 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 and you hear over the loudspeaker, Angela Bauer, will you marry me? Marry, 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 me. <laughs> you say yes, the crowd roars, and we live happily ever... Well, <laughs> I mean, you and the lucky guy live happily ever after. <laughs> that is beautiful, oh, Tony. Thanks. That is so sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. sweet. <laughs> what oh. is oh. sweet? Oh. oh, nothing, nothing. Good things come to those who wait. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait for what, huh? <gasps> it's a surprise. <laughs> oh, come on, come on now. Give me just a little hint, hmm? Hmm? All right, I'll give you just one little hint. Will you marry me? <laughs> what? I guess you couldn't wait to baseball season. <laughs> Well, will you? Oh, uh, you big lug. I'm yours forever. <laughs> I came to deliver this. Oh. Our first wedding gift, huh? Yes, it's from me. Why? Open it. Oh. It 
It's great-grandmother's sterling comb. Yes, you gave it to me when I married Michael. And now I want you to have it. Do you remember what you said when you gave it to me? Break it and you're dead. <laughs> I, I mean after that. Uh, just some mushy stuff. <laughs> I remember exactly. You said Michael wasn't your first choice for me as a husband. <laughs> but that I'd always be your first choice as a daughter. I said that? Yes. And you said that as long as I was happy, that's all you cared about. And now I'm saying that to you. Thank you, dear. And now can I please come to your wedding? <laughs> You should see Suzanne. She's really beautiful. Max has great taste in women. This insecurity thing is new to me. <laughs> You've come to the master. <laughs> you could lean on me. I will. In just a second. Mother, where are you going? I'm going to stop Jonathan from mailing those invitations. <sighs> this lady is not getting married until she's good and ready. Uh, I just hope Max understands. Oh, of course he will. No, I mean about keeping this coconut. <laughs>